iconic, timeless, and visually appealing. These are just a few words we can use to describe Time Magazine. In this tutorial, we'll pay tribute to the famous Time Magazine cover style. The cover features striking photographs, and the magazine has remained intact with just a few design updates. For this tutorial, we'll be using a powerful photograph from Envato Elements, which you can change to one of your own and make it a Time Magazine cover person of the year. Envato Elements is a great assets library. There are new items added every day, so you're sure to find something that you might need there. Make sure to check it out. Like I mentioned, for this tutorial, we will be using a striking photograph of this basketball player. I really like how the light is being used here. And our font choice will be Sans. I have both files downloaded here, and I just want to create a fonts and images folder and move the files to each one. To install fonts in your computer, unzip the zip file, open the folder, and here you will find all of the fonts included in RNS Sans. Open the fonts app and drag the fonts into the fonts application. We will also be using Times New Roman, and you should already have that in your computer. All right, so let's head over to Photoshop, create new document, select print, and let's change here the height to 10.75, make sure width is at eight, and make sure to select inches, color mode CMYK color, click on create, head over to view and we'll create a new guide on this layout. Let's move this here to the side, select margin, and set it to 0.4 inches. And we want this to be all around. Set the number of columns to two, gutter to zero. Check rows, number three, and gutter to zero. This will help us position the picture right in the center. Head over to the file and drag the image into Photoshop. Let's change the size here to 130%. And let's just center here. I want the subject's eye line to be positioned on the first guide. Select the rectangular marquee tool from the toolbar and draw a rectangle right on the margin guides that we created. Head over to the layers panel and click on the layer mask button. This should create a layer mask on the image, eliminating the contents outside of the margin. Let's create a text by selecting the text tool or T from the toolbar. Click on the document and let's have time here. Head over to the control bar and set the font to Times New Roman, the size to 170 points and use the color code E81E25. Let's center this, and with the help of the vertical center guide, place the text to align with it. You can also use the help of the smart guides. Head over to View, Show, Smart Guides, and these are the, the purple guides that you see here. Let's bring this up a little bit more. On the Layers panel, select the image layer, and you can either press Command J to duplicate it, or drag it here to the bottom. Move the image over the text. Now we can see that the image has covered the title of the magazine. We need to edit these newly duplicated layers to be able to see the text. So on the Layers panel, select the Layer Mask thumbnail on the duplicated image. Select the Brush tool. I want to use a soft round brush and make sure that you're using black as a foreground color. And you can see if we brush over, we are gonna start seeing the text behind. I'll go back with Command Z, and I just want to readjust the brush to hardness 100%, and then I can use the opening and closing brackets to alter the size of the brush. So I like to do first the outside, and then get into the details. And then if necessary, then I'll readjust the size of my brush. I am just going to make my brush a little bit bigger just to make sure that everything that needs to be masked is gone away. And then to be able to make the headline pop a little bit more, I want to darken the sides of the photograph. So create a new layer. On the toolbar, select the gradient tool or G on your keyboard. 
head over to the control bar and select foreground to transparent gradient. So here I'm just going to add the gradient on either side. There we go. We can see this translating on the white margin and we'll cover that a little bit later. Select the layer. Here we can change the layer style to multiply. And we can also change the opacity. I'll leave this at 70% for now. I want to add a solid color, so head over to create a new fill or adjustment layer, solid color. And let's use the signature Time Magazine red color, E81, E25, click OK. And using the rectangular marquee tool, and with the help of the guides, create a rectangle inside the margin. Select the mask and press Command I to invert the selection. Now we need to create a white stroke that's present between the red margin and the image. On the toolbar, select the rectangle tool or U on your keyboard and draw a rectangle on the margin guides. You'll get the properties panel pop up. Select the fill to none, stroke to white, and the stroke width to four pixels. We can get rid of this. You can show and hide the guides by pressing command apostrophe. So now we have all of our, let's say, background image. I just want to group this, so select all of these, group, and I'll change the name here to background. So we can keep things organized. Using the text tool, add a date to the top right corner outside of the white stroke. I just need to change this in color and lower the size to make sure that I can see all of the text. I'll change the font to RNS Sans. I just want to add this here on the side to make sure that I can make the changes quickly. Set the size to nine points. Click on Advanced to open the Character and Paragraphs panel. I want to move this to the very right and change the color to black. This is looking a bit darker, so I just want to alter that to a lower opacity. I'll add a cover line here on the left side of the cover, just above the subject's shoulder. Let's set this to white and left align. And here I want to play a little bit more with RNS Sans family. This will make the cover a little bit more dynamic and not so static. I'll use two colors. For this cover line, I'm choosing to use a combination of light and extra bold families. I want to add a small deck using light. I'll make this smaller and use bold and set it in the iconic red to create a little bit more contrast. Let's add a second set of cover lines on the right side of the magazine cover, just below the shoulder and over the t-shirt is perfect because it provides a very solid background. Here I'll use a combination of semi-bold light and bold families. I'll use semi-bold on the first two lines in order to not distract the viewer from the other set of cover lines on the left. This time, I will align the cover lines to the right. Let's add a deck and the author. The deck is set in light at 15 points. Set the author to bold 10 points. Change the lighting to 15, and let's make it red as well. Let's move this just a little bit lower. Save the file, Command S. Save it as a Photoshop file, and that's perfect. There you have it, this is your Time Magazine cover, Person of the Year.
Time magazine covers are one of the most iconic, timeless, and recognizable magazines out there, and we hope this tutorial will help you create yours. If you're looking for other powerful and striking images, don't forget to check out Envato Elements. They have thousands and thousands of images that can be useful for any of your projects. From all of us at Envato, we hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and we'll see you on the next one.